good afternoon. I am enjoying, trying to enjoy this hot day, but uh, I wanted to update you on a few things first. Y'all, thank you so much for the birthday shout outs, text messages, DMs, posts, stories, everything. Y'all definitely made me feel loved and appreciated and I am just so thankful for you. I had a wonderful birthday, wonderful birthday. Uh, and shout out to my friends that made it a wonderful uh, trip to, uh, to DC to hang out with NASA. Basically, I hung out with NASA for the week and that was amazing. Uh, I'll do a post about that so you can see some of the cool things that I saw. Second, thank you to every single person, no matter how much you donated. But y'all, I started out trying to raise a thousand dollars, and based on contributions that are being mailed and those that you all did through the Facebook fundraiser, we raised two thousand dollars, the total cost of the camp for this summer so i'm gonna add to that so they'll get extra special uh giveaways and gifts to that but just know you all are are amazing and so i have done a post where you can see uh some of the amazing experiences we've been able to provide for the last three summers uh and we do have hashtags so you can look back and see some of the pictures and video from that uh, but this year we are partnering with the boys and girls club of the virginia peninsula and we will be working with 20 teenagers at the uh, Hampton Avenue location and the Michael Vick Teen Center, the new teen center. And so we're super excited. Uh, my office, Virginia Block and I are partnering on uh, providing this this experience really and we'll do leadership development uh, a self-esteem building personal finances and exposing them to different careers that we have right here on the peninsula and so we are looking forward to that if you or your child has ever been in one of our camps and you have a testimonial that it was worthwhile or they had fun or they learned something new I would love to hear that so please if um, if you can either message me comment on this uh, but let us know you know that it was that it was worthwhile um, I mean we started out in 2016 with TSLA with uh, youth pastor uh, Vernon Woodard at Ivy Baptist uh, the next year we did a spark extension program with um, Jasper at Ivy Baptist and then uh, the next year we worked with an amazing group of students, rising sophomores from uh, an achievable dream middle and high school during their intercession. And again, this year we will be working uh, with the Boys and Girls Club of the Virginia Peninsula at the Hampton Avenue location. All of the 20 students will be from the 23607, and so I'm just ecstatic. Uh, a couple of posts that I've made and, and tweets, I kind of opened up a little bit about my life, but I, I feel driven, and one of the things that I'm most driven about is trying to recreate the amazing childhood that I had and all of the exposure that I got to all kinds of cool stuff, uh, doing that for every child, no matter what their zip code is, no matter whether their you know parents were... Um, were dentists and teachers or whatever just I really really know that I am where I am because of the people that poured into my life when I was young and so I just want to do that in return so we're looking forward to that again thank you to everyone that gave you can still give all of the money goes to the Boys and Girls Club and they do year-round programming. So even though we've met our goal, I'm going to keep the fundraiser open because uh, they really are doing great work uh, to keep our kids safe, to keep them engaged and to make sure they're fed. So shout out for that. So uh, so that's that. And then lastly, I want to uplift uh, an event that I have been posting tomorrow. We are going to be making a huge announcement about the census, but also I'm finding that even those of you who are super engaged don't know all of the information that you need to know about the census and so there are four major things that i'll be talking about tomorrow that the census is used for uh so that's at 12 noon uh at the riverside regional medical center annex building so if you're facing the front door it's the building to the left and uh we'll put some markers or balloons out there so you'll know that it's us but uh it's gonna have lots of information if you need information on census jobs because what they are hiring right now uh there'll be information on that if you need your driver's license reinstated because of the uh new 
new law that we have in place as of July 1st about the fees and the fines and uh, not revoking your license. Uh, DMV will be there with more information if you need your real ID. We'll have information on that. Voter registration, restoration of rights, health information, Medicaid uh, applications. Uh, we tried to get as much information as possible. Uh, hurricane preparedness, emergency preparedness. Uh, we tried to get as much information as possible in the room and we will also be doing a town hall on the census with the Secretary of the Commonwealth, Kelly Thomason, so that she can help us dispel some myths and really find out the truth of the matter, why it's important that everyone be counted, and also, like, did you know that it's a federal offense for a census worker to share any information that they get in the um, in the course of their duties? Like, a lot of people are, are just spreading false information and fear trying to get us not to participate. So come on out and get more information. Please also come out if you're part of an organization that can be part of the education campaign that we're gonna be doing uh, with our Complete Count commissions, um, and, and councils across the Commonwealth just to make sure that Virginia has a complete count. We will start receiving information in March. So now is the time to make sure that everybody understands how just fundamentally important the census is in its uh, constitutional um, yeah, it's in the Constitution that this should happen. And so we've heard lots of partisan attacks on it, but let's get some straight shooting information about it tomorrow, 12 noon at Riverside Regional Medical Center in the Annex building uh, and see my earlier post on that. And then lastly, I'll just say uh, we send out periodic newsletters that include announcements, upcoming events, opportunities, contests, all kinds of things. And so I will put the link for you to um, sign up for that, uh, for our newsletter so that you can receive them and stay in touch and you can also uh, answer a survey that we are um, that we're doing so that we know what you're thinking how you're feeling so we know that we're really representing you so this was a little longer than I had anticipated but I hadn't talked to y'all in a while so thank you for listening and also if, as always if you have any questions please let me know and I'll see you tomorrow at Riverside Regional Medical Center at 12 noon and thank you again so 